County leaders just announced plans for how they plan to spend more than $50 million worth of federal CARES Act funding. CBS 6's Shannon Lilly joins us now with a breakdown of where that money will go. Shannon? Well, Cheryl, the nearly $62 million from the CARES Act will go towards assisting Chesterfield with COVID-19 related expenses. Now, $10 million of that has already been spent. Now, the Deputy County Administrator says the plan is to allocate the biggest portion of the remaining $51 million to schools. A plan to provide coronavirus aid, relief and economic security amidst a pandemic. In a meeting Wednesday morning, Chesterfield Deputy County Administrator of Finance, Matt Harris, outlined the county's plan for allocating about $51 million in funds from the CARES Act. Harris says the largest single allocation will be the $28.1 million for the school division. It'll go to supporting distance learning and safe returns to school. That'll include money for Chromebooks, PPE, and HVAC improvements in school buildings, among other things. The other five categories include funds for virus mitigation like physical modifications to county facilities to make them safer as well as 8.2 million dollars to supporting teleworking and an additional 3.4 million dollars in business assistance funds. Money will also go towards community assistance like Wi-Fi enhancements at parks and libraries and half a million dollars to support the Chesterfield Food Bank. Harris says about 10 million dollars of the original 61 and a half million dollar fund is already being used for a business grant and COVID-19 related costs incurred by Chesterfield in the previous fiscal year. Harris says a tight time frame is creating a major hurdle in what the county can and can't do. He says the county has to have all the money spent by December 30th. That gives you, you know, a very compressed window to get all these dollars spent. So we are uh, absolutely, we've been in touch with you know, state, federal folks trying to get folks to understand that that is a real constraint to spending these dollars in the most effective way possible. We're going to do our best to, to get there, but that is that is absolutely a major hurdle. And Harris also wants the public to understand that there is a rule book on what the county can and can't spend these funds on. He says they cannot spend them on uh, to supplement for regular county services like giving teacher raises. They really do have to stick to strictly COVID-19 related expenses. Now, a vote is expected to be made on this plan by the Board of Supervisors this evening. Working for you, I'm Shannon Lilly, CBS 6 News.